Hey, Rajan here at Epic Games. If you clicked on this video, you're likely interested in distributing your game on the Epic Games Store. With our new publishing tools, almost anyone can now distribute their games on the Epic Games Store and manage that process in the developer portal. So let's take a look at an end-to-end -end overview of the Epic Games Store publishing tools. After you set up an organization in Dev Portal, the first thing you'll see is your dashboard. This is where you'll see a list of all the products you have access to with some of the quick links to configure these products. On the left side, you can find links to the various sections of Dev Portal. The top links take you to sections to configure the organization and manage player accounts that have access to your products. You can also find a store section here to view analytics. I won't go into detail on these sections in this video, but I wanted to highlight them so you know what you can find there. The quick links on the dashboard lead to sections where you manage Epic Game Store settings, Epic Online Services, Game Services, and Epic Account Services, as well as view game analytics. There are a lot of features to be found across these links, but for now we'll focus on the Epic Game Store section and our publishing tools. Let's start by creating a new product. After clicking on Create Product on the left, the wizard prompts you for the product name and an optional cover image that will help you quickly identify the product in Dev Portal. The product is then added to your dashboard and you can access it through the left menu or the item on your dashboard. For now, let's go right into the Epic Game Store section to start configuring your product and its store presence. You complete a brief onboarding process that includes paying the submission fee and adding some more information about your game. The landing page of the Epic Game Store section is your product dashboard. The left menu is now updated to point to the various product specific sections. On the dashboard, a quick view of the status of your product's release is available in the general details tile. You also have a product checklist here, listing out the tasks that you need to complete to get your product into players' hands. Clicking the arrow on each item brings you to the corresponding section to complete that task. We recommend you complete the task to publish your product page as soon as you can to start spreading early awareness of your game. Other tasks are important to complete before the launch of your product, so make sure to review the full checklist. For more detailed information, you can always find links to the documentation in the resources box on the bottom right. The links on the left under the Epic Game Store heading give you more granularity when preparing for the launch of your product. In the release management section, you can see a summary of the status of your tasks. Products are managed in three sandboxes. You configure and make edits to your product in the dev sandbox. When you are finished with your configuration, you push it to the stage sandbox. Once you've verified your product's configuration in the stage sandbox, you submit your content for review by the Epic Game Store team. Be sure your submission is ready to go prior to submitting for review to ensure a smooth review process. When your configuration is reviewed and approved, you can push it to the live sandbox. But keep in mind that content in the live sandbox is considered public and discoverable, even if it's scheduled to be viewable to players at a later date. In addition to release management, you can manage your product metadata by setting up product configuration and ratings in the Store Settings tab. Offers is where you'll manage the catalog of items that you are selling as part of your product. Pages are the representation of how your content is viewed in the Epic Game Store. The Artifacts and Binaries section can be used to manage builds you have uploaded. Artifacts act as containers for the items that are shown in player's Epic Game Store library, and binaries are the downloadable builds that you can upload and associate with each artifact. Artifacts are created automatically for most offer types, like base games and demos, but game add-ons will require additional setup to associate a downloadable build. Use the Access Keys section to manage keys that can be redeemed in the Epic Game Store for access to your product's offers. You will also use this section to generate keys for testing in the dev and stage sandboxes. The Localization section enables you to localize product details for different regions to best reach users globally. And lastly, the Custom Price Tier section enables you to set regional pricing for your game offers. That completes our overview of the Epic Game Store publishing tools, which you can use to manage the distribution of your game on the Epic Game Store. For more detailed information, be sure to check out the documentation. And when you're ready to get started, head on over to store.epicgames.com distribution. We can't wait to see what you create next, 
and look forward to seeing it on the Epic Games Store.